Hey, Great Shot here. Today we're going to do a uh, short view on a uh, DPMS AR-15. Uh, DPMS calls this uh, an AP-4. Um, this is uh, really just an M4 variant. It's got the M4 style barrel. It's got the uh, A2 flash hider. Um, of course it's got the detachable carrying handle. Um, and the collapsible buttstock. Um, this one has a side sl sling adapter, bayonet lug. So it's pretty much your standard. Um, no frills uh, uh, AR-15 M4 variant. Basically it's semi-automatic only. Um, it is chambered for 5.56 or 2.23. A lot of people go, well, what's the difference? Well, um, the difference is uh, uh, case pressure. Um, the uh, 556 round is a military round, such as this, and it has a higher pressure than a 223 uh, hunting round. Um, and as far as I know, that's, that's about the only difference. Um, uh, this gun, you know, uh, came from the factory uh, with two 30-round magazines. Um, it came with a nice plastic carrying case, a cleaning kit. Um, and a sling. Um, we'll check it real quick. Magazine comes out. Okay, nothing in the uh, gun at all, so we're safe. Um, this is a direct gas impingement uh, rifle. In other words, uh, gas is siphoned off from right here and blown back through a gas tube and it actuates the bolt. Um, so it's not a gas piston. It uses direct gas. Um, consequently, that makes the bolt and everything get a little hotter. And uh, uh, although it's uh, not a flawed system, um, it is a system that requires uh, regular maintenance um, so it's a uh, it's a uh, more maintenance intensive than say a uh, gas piston system such as the AK-47 or SKS or FAL numerous other rifles um, however uh, this gun is a, the DPMS makes a fine, fine weapon. Haven't had any issues with it. Um, I wish it was chrome lined. The chamber was chrome lined in the barrel, but it's not. Um, it's, a, it's an option that's available. Um, however, uh, when I ordered uh, these, um, I ordered two of them, one for my dad and one for myself. Um, the uh, the guy from DPMS, it was a DPMS representative that I ordered him from. Um, I didn't mention it, and I didn't think about it till later after we received the rifles. So, but nonetheless, uh, it's an accurate gun. Um, it is semi-auto only. Um, it, it'll do. Uh, it'll do one-inch groups uh, all day long at 100 yards. Um, the, the furthest I've shot this gun is uh, 200 yards and I, I was hitting two and a half inch groups um, so I, I'm really pleased with it that was with uh, 62 grain uh, uh, military ammo so uh, uh, I'm very pleased with it and uh, there's lots of other manufacturers out there uh, you know I've shot a Rock River Rock River is an extremely smooth shooting gun the trigger is really nice um, and if I was rich um, I would uh, get a Rock River um, the Colts you know you're paying for a name at that point uh, not that they're good guns because they are but you're paying for the name um, you know and there's various other manufacturers um, but uh, uh, FN makes a, an M16 for the military 
and it goes on and on. There's all kinds of variations of this of this weapon. Um, however, let's get get to it. I'm gonna put the gun down. Well, here, there's the intimidation factor for you. Okay, they use the military police. Anyways, uh, I have a uh, Jonathan R. Arthur uh, 22 conversion kit for it right here because we all know ammo is expensive. Uh, I got this from Bushmaster, ordered it from Bushmaster. Um, works pretty good, great deal. I picked up uh, these government, uh, these are just straight government contract mags. Um, I, I don't really know who makes them, but they just came in a government uh, packaging with a government uh, lot number. And uh, they were cheap. I paid $5 a magazine for them. Um, here's the magazine that came with the gun. Now, there's two of them that look just like this. They're black and they're from DH Industries. Um, primarily I use a 55 grain boat tail um, full metal jacket rounds but I do have a, a 50, 50 grain uh, hollow point bullets that I have as well. Um, the gun would be great for varmints and stuff. Deer if you're a good shot, you could probably take out a deer with a headshot or a, a, a spine shot or something, but uh, it's probably still a little light um, for that, unless you're using, I don't know, a 70 grain bullet or something. Um, uh, the gun, the, the DPMS has been extremely reliable, can't complain with it, uh, I can't complain about it, I should say. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, I'll get video of, of uh, shooting this gun at some point, as always. Uh, I don't know when. Um, well, I do have a red dot for it, just so you know. Uh, that mounts. I take off the carrying handle and put this on there. I got it because it was a good deal. Um, it's not really a, the best quality red dot or whatever, but it works and it works pretty good. Um, it came with a sling. But uh, other than that, uh, that's it. Um, be kind to your fellow man. Walk softly. Carry a big freaking stick. And uh, guns don't go off by themselves, people. Later. Later.